technical and sentimental video for the Quasi DB service for the 12th of May 2021. We'll start with the euro pound because this is the current signal. Keep an eye on this level here. This is uh, B, so it's X, A, B, C, D. And you don't really want it above um, that line, which is 85.89. It's been hovering on that line for a while, and no doubt it's got some volume spike there as well, which is why it's been acting like a magnet. Um, we've got UK uh, GDP data soon. Uh, it's supposed to be good data for the UK, so this should fall. And don't forget on the weekly chart, it's very bearish as well. So we could potentially look to sell this again next week. You can take profit if you like because we've got a good um, R. The risk, the risk to reward is good because our stock was 10 pips and we made 40 pips, so we've had a 4 R. So you can take profit if you like. Um, keep an eye on this level there. Uh, we're going to nip through the stop uh, loss clusters. Hang on a minute, where's they all gone? Oh, that's so confusing. Oh, that's, that's why. AJ. Um, Okay, oh, I'll have to put on that again. Uh, 85.44 and 84.64, we're a buy. And they're going long, but only gradually. But there is a there is a definitely a, a shift for longs, and that'll be bearish. Uh, AU, 78.10 and 76.69. Uh, uh, buy and, and again they're going long so um, that's bearish um, we are above monthly pivot though and we are above monthly pivot with AJ as well so we would be looking to buy uh, dips technically you're at us uh, there's your monthly pivot there we're right on it now we zoom in um, uh, SSC um, 15580 and 154, we're a sell and they're short in it, so there's a mismatch there. So dynamically, it's um, it's not agreeing with the high level because they're short in it, it's actually a buy. So if they continue to do it, we can come up. So be careful with this one. I'm not going to trade this again, it was just too horrendous uh, last week. Uh, Euro Oz, um, Euro USD, sorry. Um, one above is 12180, one below. One two one ten, and uh, you know we're above monthly pivot. We've got a bullish harmonic. We're a buy here, um, but they are going long here, which is bearish dynamically. So they decided to go long here, uh, maybe on that spike, but potentially because we broke those highs. That's maybe why they went long. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Gu and. One above that's at MR2, so 14170 and 141 buy, and they shorted it, so that's therefore a buy on the dynamic. And you, um, one above 7315. Oh, oh, God, come on, 7199 or 72 were a buy, and it's pretty sideways. Euro yen. Keep an eye on this diagonal there. That's 13180 is your support. The SLC above is at MR1. So uh, that's at 13271 and one below is 13170. So there's 100 pips between the two. Pound yen. Um, oh, it's in there. Okay. I'll have to zoom in a bit maybe. It's just in between those fib levels. Uh, there it is, there's that dot. So 15410 and 15299, we're a buy and it's sideways. Dollar yen, uh, 10906 and 108.3, we're a buy and again it's sideways. There's a lot of yen pairs that are currently dynamically, um, they're just sort of just going, uh, you know, directionally, uh, horizontally. They're not really doing much at the moment. Also, apologies if you can hear that bird in the background. Uh, it's very noisy. Uh, one above for uh, UC, dollar CAD, it's 12135. 
and one below. <laughs> it lets me load it. One two zero sixty six. Rear cell, very sideways. Dollar Swiss. Had quite a rally. The one above I can't show you because it's too far. It's ridiculous. There's no no point showing it because it's too far away. And the one below is eighty nine eighty. And we're a cell. Um, gradually shorten it there, so that could be bullish, but they'll need to continue in order to be, a, you know, a buy over time. And gold, if we zoom out, it, we had a resistance on that shift channel top and MR2 confluence. Um, didn't quite hit MR2, but you can see how that was a resistance there. And the SLC is um, 1846 and one below. Oh God, 1800 on the dot. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up now. Um, I won't need to show you any of these. Um, I've been trading crypto and that's why I'm really tired at the moment, but it's been really pro profitable. So have a look at um, some of these charts, um, get the Zoop indicator and have a look at it on uh, it's crypto. It works really well, um, but you can make a lot of uh, profit if you, if you, you know, if you're sensible and diligent and stuff and you've got good risk management they are definitely uh, worth having a look at your bitcoin and bitcoin cash uh, ethereum and litecoin you can make a lot of money on those so that's what i've been doing uh well i'm quite tired so i'm, I'm going to wrap up and have a look at those and um, let me know what you think with the super indicator and i'll speak to you guys soon